Hello, my dear students. Today we are there with the part three of the environment lesson, that is the domain of our earth. Okay. So, with the picture itself, you can know the domains of our earth, which is also called as the realms of the earth. They are atmosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere, and lithosphere. You can see in this circle picture, which is in uh, there in your textbook also. Okay. Let us continue. So. Uh, there are main four uh, domains of the earth you should know that one is the lithosphere ato atmosphere hydrosphere and biosphere okay lithosphere atmosphere hydrosphere and biosphere okay so you can remember this these all are the main four domains which is present in the earth okay let us see what is the meaning of lithosphere. Children, what can you see in this picture? You can see land and plateaus. Okay, you can see some part of this plane, some part is plateaus. So with this, you can understand the hard surface of the earth, which is the stones or uh, 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 sand. This all comes under lithosphere. Okay, children? So, the rocky outer layer of the earth, there is the inner part also. Inside the earth also so many things are there. But the outer part of the earth is known as the lithosphere. Lithosphere means rocky crust. And uh, the average thickness of this crust is 100 kilometers. From the earth inside, if we go, it is 100 kilometers. And the uppermost part, we have soil and the layer of the soil. And if we go inside and inside, there will be different. We will have liquid, lava, those all things will be there inside. It will not come under the lithosphere. The upper layer, the uppermost layer of the earth only is a part of the lithosphere. Okay. So here we can get, I already told you, the landform, which is the example, uh, like a, a mountain, plateaus, plains, desert, sands, this all comes under the uh, lithosphere. So I think it is clear, children, that lithosphere means the layer of the earth which is having hard surface. You have to remember hard surface or rocky areas. Next, we have atmosphere. Now, what can you see in this picture, children? You can see stars are there, clouds are there. Okay, so this well, this land is a part of lithosphere. And the above area from the land to above the sky area, it comes under atmosphere. Okay, children. So, atmosphere means the layer of the, what is there above the land, you can't see anything. But there is, you, you get some sometimes smoke, smell, you can see clouds. Okay. So, in the air, whatever is present, that is gas. All the layer of the gas uh, above the earth is known as the atmosphere. So, what is the atmosphere made of? There is 78% of the nitrogen gas, 21% is the oxygen, and remaining are the carbon dioxide, neon, hydrogen, these kind of gases are there. And let me tell you, each gases are very, very important for our life. Okay? So, a surrounding the earth is called atmosphere. In the simple word, what we can say? The air surrounding the earth is called atmosphere. So what does it contain? Oxygen for human. What are the uses of these gases? It is useful for the human being for breathing. Same time, carbon dioxide is useful for plants. And it also helps us to protect from the like clouds and all. These also help us to protect from the the rays which is coming from the sun, which is harmful for us, these layer of gas deflects it and we are safe because of that. This air is also helpful for controlling the temperature. You know, nowadays we are saying green, uh, uh, greenhouse gases are increasing. What is that? Because of the carbon dioxide is increasing, temperature is increasing. If there is a proper uh, uh, percentage of carbon dioxide then that means it is it will be balance our uh, 
uh, temperature. If there is no carbon dioxide, the earth will become very cool and it will be not useful for our life. That's why these gases are also useful for uh, maintaining the temperature on the earth. Okay. So if the atmosphere is not there, gases are not there, the land would have been full of barren land. There could not be any life on the earth without atmosphere. Okay. Next is hydrosphere. Now what can you see in the picture? You can see here water, a lot of water uh, you can see. And hydro means water. So hydrogen is total amount of water present on the earth. It can be sea, it can be ocean, it can be pond. Okay. So these all liquid which is the even in the vapor and the ice form also whatever the is there it is called as a hydrosphere so in the simple word what what can we say the water present on the earth's surface is refers to the hydrosphere and what can be that sea lake ocean these are the examples water can be defined divided into three parts Hydro, hydrosphere can be divided into three parts these water can be in the solid form like ice liquid form like water and gas form like vapor means hydrosphere in all form the water solid gas liquid whatever we get on the earth is known as the it come under the hydrosphere next is the very important part that is the biosphere it is bio means life remember children bio means life and this life is present in atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere also on lithosphere on land we can see so many animals uh, in the atmosphere we can see so many microorganisms we can know that in the cloud and on the air so many small, small uh, these uh, microorganisms are present and in water you know in water also so many animals are there in this way biosphere covers all part of the layers atmosphere hydrosphere and the lithosphere in all these domains whatever life is there the things which have life it comes under biosphere okay children i hope you understand very well so what we come to know today that there are the three domains the four domains of the earth that is the lithosphere biosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere okay children Hope you understood very well. See you in next video. Have a nice day. And please don't forget to subscribe if you did not subscribe. Bye-bye. Have a good day.